Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Not Conscious. With Mark Poles and Chris Woodsy Peralta. From the home offices in Gilbert, Arizona. Boom. 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 Happy Valentine's Day, bro. You get to do the eh. On the not conscious, yeah. Happy Welcome Valentine's to Knox Day. Conscious. Today is Valentine's Day. He we slowly record. slid his hand under her. We uh, her record dress, in arrears. The hem of her dress. I have to ask you a very important question. Check mark. Yes. Will you How or will you not be wearing your church hoodie to our romantic bro date later today? This is my church. This is oh, my you church. have a new church hoodie. No, this is my church puffy. <laughs> I will not be wearing my church jeans. However, you I have not? light colored jeans on today. Okay. Light. Thank. You can't see those them. are not church jeans. They're not my church jeans. My church jeans are gonna are in the wash are in the laundry. Oh man! But I'm so excited that you and I are going out for Rolentine's Day. <laughs> nice. We were gonna go to Hana, and we talked it up so well. And then I looked it up, and they don't. They're not open. They're only like takeout and delivery or something. So yeah. So oh, we got gosh. our second best sushi. So place. we got our second best sushi place. Four dollar spice tuna roll, sir. Hi. Four dollar. I'll so take 19, roll. please. Yes, I would like 32 of them, please. And take all my money. Um, And today's a not conscious. It's a serious one. Yeah. It's a perfect Valentine's Day one. That's uh, it's that's not, it's not good Valentine's ironic, Day bro. Talk. It is the worst irony. I didn't even think about it until I, I woke up this morning and went, oh, it's Valentine's oh, Day, poop. and we're going to talk about what? Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about a subject that we've been hemming and hawing about for quite some time. Uh, the discussion of Mr. Jeffrey Epstein. Yes. And you seem to have been very in, interested in this, which I was as well interested. However, I just felt there was so much attention on it when it came, when you, we talked about it, when we discussed like it. Like a year ago or something? Yeah. So like, it just felt like, let's let everything calm down and then we can look at it with like more objectively, I think. Sure. Than like emotionally. Because... It's a real emotional subject. True. And I, I rewatched the series on Netflix in the past couple of days, and I did, I was able to watch it more. I mean, it's a horrible story about all the young ladies, the lives that were affected, but I was able to watch it from a more objective standpoint, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it as well, and I, and I also watched the interview that we'll talk about. Which after, interview? The YouTube Oh, the interview guy? With yeah. With the guy in the place with the thing? With we'll the alien in the spaceship. Yeah. May they rest in peace. Well, you brought this to us because, and it's a great subject. It really is a great topic to talk about or, or an interesting topic because, God, this is ridiculous. We we covered Shoeberry with Charles. Yeah. And the obviously church. we've covered the church. And then we've also looked at the other side where my, with the Michael Jackson thing. Yeah. So we've seen, you and I have, you and I are intrigued by the truth behind certain allegations. And it's always been you. I think it's been your or my philosophy that like children are the most innocent. They, they have zero consent. They have zero control over their lives. Like this is the worst thing you can do is do anything to a child. It's the worst. Sadly, I would agree because there's no, there's nowhere to go from there. Yeah. It's just shitty. Yeah. Other than maybe to your point, like a dog or a pet or something, I oh. guess would be pretty, pretty nasty too, but still. Regardless of all of that, um, let's get into this because you you took some serious copious no, notes. It's just like two pages. I watched it intently, and I know you know I'll follow follow you, and we'll go. Sure. Go uh, my plan was to go through the timeline of chronological events, and then that sh we could probably bust that out pretty quick, and then go back and discuss the where's and the why's and the hows and and the who's and other theories that we've heard besides just the Netflix show. And you've heard quite, you have questions, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> and go. go. So this all started back in the seventies, bro. Yes. And to clarify very quickly before we start, I didn't say it What to quite to clarify, um, to your point, the documentary jumped around timeline wise and that yes. drove you absolutely batshit well, crazy, which is totally was, understandable because we like to understand the timeline. Yeah, so for those that don't know, there's a four-part documentary um, produced by James Patterson, the famous author, who was a neighbor of Jeffrey Epstein in Palm Beach, Florida. It's a four-part, it's less than four hours, and it's very interesting on how we'll the story... The what's that? We'll put the link up. Sure, obviously. no, you won't. 
Uh, I always do. Oh, you always How about the link up? I just so we talk about topics we don't do later. But, but the <laughs> oh links, yeah, the links get put yeah, up. Sure. <laughs> uh, it's it's a four part documentary, and it did jump around, and that was a challenge for me to try to follow all the moving pieces because there were so many people involved. Agreed. Well, let's get to it, man. So this started in the seventies, as uh, Mr. Epstein dropped out of college, and then he got a teaching job at a small college, which one of the gentlemen they interviewed found it ironic that you dropped out of college and now you're a college teacher. That seems, uh, what? How did, how did that, they didn't get into how that happened or how it was finagled, but I, right off the bat, I went, what? That seems fishy. Seemed very fishy right off the bat, but really, they did not get into that very deep. No, it was brushed over. It was un- It's unfortunate because I'm curious because that really probably is where the pathology started, like really took off. Maybe the control over kid, like over students. Like, how did what, there is there anything that happened to those students? Right. What we right? They I, were young. There were young men and women at his school. I think. Or correct. Was it a women's? School? No, I believe it was co-ed. Was it co-ed or yeah. was it, it might have just been a women's school too. I, I don't think, know. Okay. Regardless of that, uh, you know, when did all this start? Like, right. I, you know, the, you didn't hear anything about the school stuff. True. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I should have thought in my head. Yeah. I'm like, Oh, they talk. Wow. He's a teacher of young people, young men and women, young and, minds. Yeah. And he's, and now this is what happened. How? Whoa. Right. Right. I don't know. I don't know if they were trying to make the connection without, but they didn't have any kind of data. Or or data. Or data, of course. Or data. Neither, neither. Neither, neither. Potato, potato. Um, from his teaching job, he finagled a job on Wall Street. Uh, he was recommended to Bear Stern, I think is where he started, uh, in the in the 70s. And he was doing, um, the, the gentleman, the, the president, of, of Bear Stern at the time admitted that it was a Ponzi scheme. Those are his words. So they were finagling financial. I've used that word three times now. I need to stop doing that. Manipulation of money on Wall Street to make themselves rich. I looked it up. They artificially pumped up the price, the stock price of, or the valuation of their company. Yes. Yes. That's how they did it. Right. It wasn't like insider trading or whatever. It just was false, falsely, falsely valuating their company higher than it really was. But, that is illegal. It is illegal. No, that no, is it's a, an it's a an securities illegal and exchange commission right. law, right? right? No, absolutely is illegal. I'm just saying. I just want to be clear about what the actual thing was because most people, when you hear break a law with that, you think insider trading. Like, oh, yes, they knew they had insider tips about right. what was going to go. Wall on Street, now. the movie. It wasn't that. They just, yeah, it was just how they did their own thing, right? And they loved it. The guy just the guy coped to it. Yeah. And he, cop to he it? did cop to it both. To and then he got, he did jail time 20 up to 20 years up to, I don't know how much he did, but yeah, he that was, was the sentence. I was nine. He was out or something, something but I like think it was that. 20, but yeah, it was pretty interesting, but he didn't give him up. He didn't give up his name. No. Um, and he said he was damn good at it too. Well, damn good at being a shyster. <laughs> damn. feels good to be a shyster. <laughs> Moving along. That's a good song. It's yeah. one of my favorites. The first reported case against Epstein was a young art student in New York City in 1995. The, this young lady met Epstein and his girlfriend, Miss Maxwell, at an art gallery exhibit and bought three pieces of her work. And they hired her to decorate his seven-story apartment in New York City. Uh, she alleges that he abused her. And she reported that to the FBI in 1995 and nothing came of it. There was no investigation. There was no nothing. That's the first reported case of a 25-year habitual behavior pattern that began in the the mid-90s. I want to be clear about that, though. Yes. I don't know if you saw it. Did you happen to watch the credits at all? No. Okay, so right at the end of every of every. Each of the four oh, series, the, those credits. there are like some clarification yes, sir. credits. Yes, sir. I did see those. I would recommend, please, everyone read those. They're very important because I, it really led me down a little bit of a rabbit hole with this artist. Not okay. debunking, but it's a he said, she said thing. 
Oh, it is. Yes. What, on the back of it, the disclaimer comes at the end of the first. This is the first part. I believe yeah, it was, I believe so. Because it was about uh, Steinem. No, uh, Guggenheim. I, correct. Eileen Guggenheim. Yes, correct. Supposedly introduced the two. Correct. Eileen Guggenheim denies that, that. Denies that. Yes. And then I actually typed in this woman's name and looked something up. Allegedly, remember how she said she was getting twelve thousand for the one, fourteen thousand for one piece, and then twelve for each of the other two. Yes. According to some people, because I looked it up on online on the Googs, mm-hmm. she actually approached them and and made the deal out to six or six in hopes of getting something down the, the road artist did not Guggenheim. Right. So it wasn't Epstein that offered only 6,000 from, from what I read other stuff. I'm not saying it's not, it's a, he said, she uh, said, right. I don't know the Again, truth. Yes. I'm just letting you know that there is a, there's a, uh, there's a, an art, uh, a combative story or a, uh, what's that called? A uh, competitive, not competitive, whatever. Something that goes against yeah, basically what they're saying. saying. Um, that uh, Guggenheim didn't introduce them and she had nothing to do with it and that the artist herself negotiated with Epstein's, not had them come up. But once again, we just don't know. Please just read everything and look up your own information just, yeah, just to be clear. Right. Because documentaries are great, but if they're, you know, truth is what Well, this after. is also a one-sided documentary. Right. This is, so, right, we're after truth. You know. Yeah. And obviously there's enough here to, to tell us... Uh, the character of the person. Yeah. Uh, in addition to that artist, her sister, her younger sister was also introduced to uh, Epstein and Maxwell, his girlfriend, and she was also abused. Um, and I'll get to another point later, but it w- I found it interesting that it was a pair of sisters and you know, they're both, it was a, it was almost like a cookie cutter way of bringing them into their little n- network. Yeah. And that is disturbing. Yeah, it worked out really well. I mean, the net, and we'll get into the network, but the network just, it, it was easy. And it's interesting because our conversation with Charles made me think, I was looking at this again, watching it through a different lens because of the stuff that we talked about with Charles with Shoeberry. Yeah. Because it's interesting. I know that was a man, it was, it was boys, a pedophile but, sex ring yeah, in the UK, right? Boy, girl, it, it does not yeah. matter. It's, the power, the whatever the perversion is, the the control, right? Yeah. Um. So, but it's interesting. I was watching it through that lens, and we'll talk about that too. How the network grew and why the network grew, or why you would recruit, right? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that makes me think. Uh, moving on, the next incident was in 1997. Two years later, in California, uh, because of Mr. Epstein's relationship. Um, with the owner of Victoria's Secret, he used that, uh, Epstein used that to his advantage. To, Lex Westman? Yes, correct. He's the owner of the limited clothing store, Abercrombie Victoria's Fitch. Secret, and he bought Abercrombie, he bought a and and he bought Victoria's Secret after, like later as his empire grew. Right. Yes. So uh, Mr. Epstein knew that gentleman and used that to his benefit. So he had, he told a young lady in California in 97, hey, I'm a Victoria's Secret scout. I know the president, et cetera. And then he lured her into his condo in California and she was abused there. Mm-hmm. Um, and Westman is the guy, is the, I, it seems to be that's where they're direct. It seems to be where all the breadcrumbs are leading to where Epstein started his fortune or started his first uh, elitist rich manipulation. Where he managed money for billionaires? Yeah. And that's how he got rich? Because allegedly he had this relationship with this West Westman guy. Are we going to talk about that later? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so in 97, he said he was a scout for Victoria's Secret. Correct. In California. Yeah. Uh, I remember that one as well, the young lady. In 2001, in London, um, Prince Andrew of the Royal family was a, was a friend of Mr. Epstein and he was introduced to young lady and that she was abused by him. And they, he said, she said they vehemently oppose each other in those statements, but that news did not come out for 14 years until 2015. Um, however, in 2004, it was noted that Prince Andrew made it to Epstein's private Island because there are notes on the logs of the aircraft that go into that island, which we'll get into the island later as well. 
Cool. Uh, but he had his own island in the Caribbean. Like, are we Are we going to get into Andrew later as well? Yes, okay, that's cool. towards the end as All well. Right, sweet. I'm just I'm just going down the timeline. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like can, I said, I just don't want to. I don't want to interrupt too much. Abs- no, you're good. So um, go in 03 in Palm Beach, Florida, uh, neighbors reported a large number of young women at the mansion of Mr. Epstein. Uh, the police investigated and they saw they were all adults working on administrative type things. They were all employees of his company, however you want to say it. That's what that's what the documentary. Right. They were all 18 or older. So right. there was, they didn't even go in because past that, it was like, OK, everyone they saw was of age or work. Yes, on something. correct. It looked it looked above board or whatever. Correct. The right term is. Yes. Uh, in 2005. um. Palm Beach Police Department received a phone call by the parents of a 14-year-old girl advising that she was uh, abused by Mr. Epstein. Um, That began an investigation that lasted seven months. Um, Towards the end of 2005, a search warrant was served. It appeared that the people living in the house were tipped off as camera systems were removed and computers and hard drives were also taken off the premises. Yeah, they said during their... Uh, during their which one, warrant sweep or whatever, there looked like hanging wires from places. And whatever, oh yeah, so. and you could see the side of a computer. Yeah, like the open, whole the casing was gone. Of an old school gone, desktop right. that was the side was gone and everything was removed. Yeah, just the hard drive was gone. Yeah, so there's nothing you could do. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, the way that it was spun right after that, it it, it was stated that uh, Mr. Epstein went on the offense where he started hiring people that were then spying on surveying surveillance whatever you want to say it of the police department investigators the chief of police their families the lawyers for some of the victims were all um being harassed by other private investigators yeah people were calling getting phone calls and some things yeah, as well yeah. some threats even to some extent correct not from Epstein but uh threats in general right but they seems to be that's the only place it could have come from Absolutely correct. All right. Yeah. Good job. Uh, in 2006, I have on here, and this may be incorrect. Um, one count of prostitution. One count of prostitution. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah. Ca- well, there's one where he got one count of that, and he got one count of like trying to solicit, and it was like they were both kind of misdemeanors. I think they weren't even. It was ridiculous, man. Yeah. Uh, um. In July of 06. The, the police chief for um, Palm Beach, Florida, was upset as to the fact that he wasn't charged with more crimes and went over the head of the um, Florida state attorney and went to the FBI and gave them all the information so that they could look into this case if need be. And it, would, it shows a desperation because there was specifically stated that that's such a rarity that you don't go through the proper channels to work your way up. Mm-hmm. He, he circumvented his own, basically his own group of people because he, he, it would be my guess that he knew that Epstein had his hand in stuff. Correct. So he went right directly to the FBI instead of through the state attorney. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. And I give that guy a lot of credit because he, he worked really hard and then nothing happened. And he's, it seemed like he was trying to do the right thing for the people in the community itself. So I, I I gave the guy credit for not taking any shit and going up the ladder and escalating things as as need be. I that's what I would do. Absolutely, sir. I like it. Um, between twenty, well, I did have a note on here. Uh, twenty oh seven is when um, Leslie Wexner cut ties with. Um, and once again, Leslie Mr. Wexner Epstein. is the Victoria's Secret owner, right? The limited owner. This is where we think he they were close. Yeah, and they they even call them boyfriend or something in some articles i think um from what i recall when when epstein was being examined they said are you lovers with him are you guys in a relationship are you in love with him and he pleaded the fifth and didn't answer any of those questions i think one he said no i think in that one he actually did he said no he wasn't or they never had physical relationships okay but some but a lot of it he did plead the fifth which is his right yeah his right as an american to plead the fifth so yeah. All right. Uh, between 2006. So he, he stole the $46 million. He did steal, or, or Wexner accuses him of that. Right. But never sued him, never went after him. That we know he of. He only claimed 
that he took it. Right. Never actually had legal action or anything taken against him, which seems pretty odd. Why would you make an accusation without following it up with? Or did he just want to cut his losses and go, I'm incredibly right. wealthy. Think better of it. I'm not, I, I don't need to be in the news anymore. I don't need to be tied to this guy in any way. Right. Negative, positive, et cetera. Like I'm just going to, I'm going to take, cut my losses, which that's a shitload of money, but he didn't big deal to him. Look at the angle I'm taking though. I'm taking the other side again. I'm assuming that he, that he has dirt on him and is like, I don't need to be exposed oh, okay. by dragging his name out. He's going to yeah. leak X because he that, has this. On yes. Because it. it seems to me taking a step back at this whole situation, whether it's implied by the documentary or all the things I've watched or everything that I've seen, it could be just a mainstream media thing pushing me in a direction. But when I take a step back, I look at the whole thing. I go, this guy just had dirt on people and they just gave him money. And let him fucking run wild because he could expose it was mutual destruction. He could fucking he had something on everyone. Right. That's just what it felt like. I could be totally multiple wrong. presidents, a prince. Right. I mean, look, we're we're not gonna say associate guilt by association, right? But he had fucking uh he had Kevin Spacey on. Yeah. Even though during that flight specifically the woman said nothing happened. But Kevin Spacey has admitted other things with with male, he's been more into like the male. Well, didn't he finally admit he's gay? Sure. Yes. Yes. So what I'm saying is the woman wouldn't have been under threat. Remember the one with, there was a flight with Spacey, Tucker, and Correct. Clinton. Correct. And she said nothing happened. Right. Right. Okay. So I'm not, it's not total, so, you know, guilt by association, but he had um, Woody Allen. Yeah. Woody Allen with the fucking 21 year old, whatever that he married, like, these weird patterns of the guys that he knows are guys who exhibit similar interests. Yes. Lewinsky. Yeah. Trump. Woody Allen with and uh, Ling or whatever the right. Fuck and uh, Clinton. Yeah. Trump. Trump had always loved the young ones. <laughs> anyway. it's, well, it's fun. The one thing too is the one, the Trump. Are we going to talk about Trump later? No. In this? No, in this. No. Oh, it's not going to come up? No. Because it is a weird excerpt. Oh, yeah. The Acosta thing, yes. Well, well, the Acosta thing is a whole other But you just totally there. derailed my timeline, but that's But fine. no, we're not going to go. In, we're not going to go in the timeline. I'll wait. So he's still... Le- Leslie Wexner, 46 million Epstein. Go. In 2007, Wexner yes. finally cut ties. Yep. Um... I already stated the next two points between 2006 and 2008. The case was with the federal government and it appeared at the end of 2008, the case just went away. Um, there was a hearing in July of 08, uh, with the U S attorney, uh, Alex Acosta, Bef- the, um, they was a plea deal basically on the one count of prostitution. And there was also a count of, trying to procure a minor of prostitution. So it was two charges. Um, he pleaded guilty to solicitation, but in the plea deal, he was given immunity and all of his, all of his associates were given immunity. So they couldn't be charged with anything else regarding yeah. this case. Um, he was, and they showed like at least five good. So strong associates. Correct. From Jeline. Yes. Maxwell, who correct. is obviously I can't Estes, say her whatever. name. So yeah, just... I have to say Jeline. I just don't, I think that's correct. I don't know. I used to say Jizzeline. I thought Jizzle. it was Giselle, but I was like, no, that's Brady's not, wife. Yeah, Jeline, I think. Because yeah, it's so like I, Miss Maxwell is what yeah. her name is. Ms. Ms. Whatever, whatever she is. I, she's a monster, too. Yes. So, well, what was interesting about this, too, not just, not just were, I, was everyone... Uh, absolved of any future, right? They were not acquitted, but what's... Well, uh, immunity. Pardon, immunity, right? Yeah, they sure, immunity. pardon, same thing. They had immunity. But what about his actual... What did he do in jail? Like, what was that all about? Um, well, he only res- he only served 13 months out of the 18. And like then serve he is a was... a very loose term. Yeah, right? he was given work release every day. So from eight to eight, he was not at the prison. He was at his office or his home. But, however, there were multiple parole violations every single day, almost. And I thought to myself, why wasn't the dude wearing an ankle bracelet? What? I mean, I didn't get that. So, it was very disconcerting that he basically, breaking your parole is illegal. You, that's not, you can't do that. But he was 
he got away with it multiple times. Well, yeah, after he was released, he broke his parole. Correct. Multiple times. Cause, well, the ankle bracelet is house arrest. Per, once you're on parole, you don't get the ankle bracelet. So you wouldn't have an ankle oh, bracelet okay. on parole. So he, he, Parole's where you check in with a parole officer. Yeah. You've already served your time. The time is up. You are now a on other conditions, right? Checking yeah. in, getting a job, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're pretty much out. So it's slightly different than like a house arrest. Yeah. So However, he wasn't supposed to leave his house as correct. a condition of his parole. And how many times have he ducked in the chair in the car? And they said, we yeah. knew he was in the back. Right. We knew when he left. We knew he came back. Mm-hmm. All that. So after the 13 months in the, what's that called? Country club? Baker's Dozen. Country club. Prison. Uh, white, white collar prison. Yeah. Well. Where it's yeah, country was, club prison. Yeah, it's yeah a country club and his prison, cell door was always prison. open. Yeah. He could come and go as he pleased. And he had dinners with like you know people. Who come he in. could see his lawyers whenever he wanted. So after that, thirteen months in prison, he uh, was given twelve months of house arrest. Um, oh, it was house arrest that maybe you should should have had the. Um, so that was in twenty oh nine when when he got out. Yes. Um, so yeah, if it's parole, he wouldn't have the bracelet. If it is house arrest, I would guess that the bracelet would matter. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the, spe- and every state's probably different too, yeah. right? So yeah. I don't know the specifics of that, but I'd be interested to see. Yeah, interesting. All right. Um, also in 2009, there was an altercation in Paris with another pair of sisters with Mr. Weinstein. So Harvey Weinstein, who ever, the name is pretty familiar nowadays because the Me Too movement, um, he was also an associate of Mr. Epstein. And uh, he, of course, Weinstein denied those allegations. Um, but another pair of sisters w- were um, allegedly assaulted in Paris in 2009. Yeah. This thing is... This is a I fantastic shake my head. comment, bro. No, I just shake my head at this whole fucking thing. I'm just like Weinstein, Woody Allen, Trump, Clinton. Like, all of these people have had previous accusations... From women? Yeah. In some sort, right. I would guess. Right. All throughout, all of them, every single one. And they just happen to be connected to one. Like, they all know one person. Like, yeah, it's a hub and, and spoke thing. You stole my line, dude. I don't Sorry. appreciate you precogging me, dude. Sorry, that's, that's not cool. All right. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Keep, please continue because I'll just keep shaking my uh, head. This is uh, coming down to the end of the timeline here. Good. In, um, <laughs> in 2018, the Miami Herald published an article about the connection between the U.S. attorney, Alex Costa, and Mr. Epstein. Um, at that point, Alex Acosta was no longer the attorney general. He was now the secretary of labor for the United States underneath President um, Trump. So once that was the, the, the details of the plea deal were released, uh, Mr. Acosta was under a lot of attention. And four days after that, info, that article came out, he resigned as the secretary of labor under Trump. They really put pressure on him. Thank fucking God, too. Because I went down that fucking rabbit hole, that piece of shit. Acosta? Acosta? Oh, my God. Just watching just watching this fucking ridiculous. He is high, clearly, clearly a figurehead for something. And, huh, once again, just looking at the connections and once correlation does not equal causation, but, oh, Trump, he's one of 13 cabinet positions at Trump. Well, there's only 13? I think there's only 13. It might oh. be 14 now, 15, but don't make me Google it, Matt. Bro. Don't, don't, don't look it up. I didn't realize there was it. that few. Okay. I, I could have thought there were only. I could have thought. I don't know if there are more. Uh, we're. But, but my point is like, a co- okay, so Trump's in a picture. I know. Not a one, picture. They, it was multiple press conferences. No, no. I, I'm saying in a picture with Epstein, right? Oh, yes, there's Trump and Epstein, them, yes, correct. From way back in the day. Well, there's whatever. several pictures. Right. There's one in the, from the Co- 80s. Correct. And there's one very and then recent. Acosta is the guy who lets this guy off the fucking hook. And then and he Acosta, gets the job. And he's also at the same point, right? Because remember, it wasn't like, I think I don't, I don't think he was already buddy-buddy with Trump So re- prior to this. So I, I don't. Yeah, I agree. Him getting, Trump had to get elected for him to even get that timeline to work. Correct. To get there in 2000 correct so and then stepping down it's just it's just crazy right like how it's crazy how the how this almost does feel like a total web like a whole network and then but you but you can't accuse everyone just because they're all connected but they're all fucking connected well you can accuse them well i I don't want to but i don't we're not on a witch hunt here i like witches i do too i like i like sandwiches (laughs) 
chip witches? Uh, some of my favorite people are witches, bro. Very nice. <laughs> Anything else on that? No. Okay. After the Miami, Miami Herald article was released in 2018, uh, in 2019, it was um, announced by a federal court that the plea deal that was made in 2007 between uh, the U.S. and Epstein was in violation of the Crime Victims' Rights Act. Hence, the thing is garbage. Yeah. It's poop. So t- tell us more about this thing. Tell us more about it. Because of that... Yes. That, because of that the, ruling... What were the consequences of this? Well, the, con- the, the because of that ruling, um, the federal case was reignited, however you want to word it. Yes. Which is kind of good, right? Well, because it yes, it led to ultimately to the whole thing. Okay, cool. And there are fifteen. Oh, there's fifteen cabinet positions. Yes, department plus. So tonight camera. on Jeopardy, I will get that right. Ding ding. What is 15, did you hear Alex? about? Speaking of Jeopardy, did you hear about this kid? No. Matthew Smith. No, Brevin Smith. Braylon Smith. Something like that. He was during Trebek's last recordings back in November. He was a champion. He was okay. One hundred and some thousand died. Twenty four years old, dead, wow. unexpected complications from surgery, but they didn't disclose what the surgery was. And you are like, that sounds odd. Twenty four year old, so it was what? really odd. Yeah, I am not kidding. the The guy who was so now we're gonna have a curse of Trebek. I am just oh, letting no. you know. Just everyone, watch out! Don't do it. I didn't. I said nothing. You just did. No, no. I said the curse of Trebek. I didn't call him a. Any names? You, or well, is that like the curse of the Bambino? Wait, that's what different? I'm saying. It could okay. be totally, but totally the same. All but, three last contestants are all going to. Dude, don't say that. That's not, okay, that's not cool. I unsaid it. Thank you. No take backsies. No take backsies. Okay, good. I just did it all. All is dead. All okay. Yeah. <laughs> you damn Freddy's a devil. Um, okay, so they open up the case again. So the case was reopened. Boom. In July of 2019. Uh, in New Jersey, he, uh, Epstein was arrested on federal charges of sexual trafficking. And they stormed his New York place without his, it seemed like without his knowledge at this time. Well, he was arrested. Well, they went into And his then apart- they went right. into his apartment right. after he was arrested. Right. And they found, like, there weren't missing hard drives. Let's just put it that way. Correct. Um, they found photos in the apartment of underage girls um, tons of computers, video video equipment. They said every room had a camera in it, so including the restrooms. So that's. And I thought to myself, if I was like a construction guy, and I or a video installer, and I got this contract to install twenty eight cameras or whatever it is, I don't know how many, and I and I'm like, okay, there get one in every bathroom. Would I, my moral compass would be on fire, and I don't know. Would it? Yes, but I don't. How much is that person getting paid? I don't would know. It? Yeah. Or would you just be like, camera in a bathroom, pretty cool? You wouldn't even think of the nefarious reason because you're not wired. To I'm think. not wired that way. Right. But I, I refer to you, the clerk's conversation about the contractor on the Death Star. Did the contractor on the Death Star really, was he a bad guy? He was just feed, trying to feed his wife and kids, man. He's just trying to install the plumbing, bro. <laughs> He's trying to get that stormtrooper poop. Right, he's trying storm poopers. He's trying to get, <laughs> he's trying to get he's trying to get the fucking urinals installed and the fucking latrines and the fucking shower heads. A trash like, compactor. Does he know that the fucking Death Star just destroyed Alderaan? Does he fucking Probably does he give not. a fuck? I don't right. think he's I don't think he gives a fuck. He's just working his job. Could could this be the same kind of thing? Well, of course it could. And I understand most people are not wired the way I am. But to me, that seems suspicious. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like, you know what? Hey, sir, wait, wait. You want cameras in the bathroom? Ready? Here it is. I $4 million. Hey, buddy. Buddy. I hate to tell you this. Okay. My my wife, my girlfriend, my partner, she's kind of on suicide watch. And I like, I never know when she locks herself in the bathroom, she's going to take pills or she's going to cut herself or she's going to hurt herself. So I like to have just to know that she's okay and safe. Boom, done. Don't don't tell anybody. This is how dark I fucking am. I came up with a fucking perfect. Wouldn't would you yeah, be cool know with why that? I hang out with point? you, dude. Would, would you? Okay, so you're okay. Let's play this out. Let's 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 uh let's play this. Out. Hey, hi, I'm I'm. You're the video installer, and I just gave you that story. What, what, yeah. What are you saying? Uh, 
I I don't I think it's bullshit, and I don't think you don't believe me, bro. I definitely don't believe you, bro, bro. I'm a sociopath. You're, no, you're totally not. believing. You're totally you're not believing. a Jedi though. You're believing that story. If you cannot do the Jedi mind trick. See, you don't. <sighs> These aren't the cameras for which. See, you're that's looking. not. I'm like, I quit. Bye. <laughs> or do they just pay them double? Well, not no, asking sure any questions. Them, but like, seriously, it's like, hey, we're gonna wire this house for Everything. internet. Video or video, audio, blah blah blah, entire house. That's a challenge that an, a construction person would be like. I take that challenge as can I do it, not right. as to why. Right? Yeah. We go back into the science oh, question. Man. To the atom bomb. Should we do it? I don't know. I just want to figure out if I can. Boom. And the way the cameras were in those little cutouts, the yeah, concrete really, holes really or whatever. Small. Back then, even yeah. like, and the quality must have been decent obviously. For well, it, it was probably like top of the line. Yeah, so it was really small, but even back then, so it was pretty impressive. Uh, okay, sorry. Let me no, backtrack. No, you're fine. It's not impressive. It's disgusting. Well, the technology... But the technology was surprising Yes, yes. it was. The technology was indeed impressive. Absolutely. I agree with that. July of 2019, uh, Epstein was arrested in New Jersey. Got that, yeah. Teterboro Airport. Um, he was... In a prison in Manhattan, a federal jail, not a prison, um, waiting trial, and he was found dead. Um, it was announced he did commit suicide, and there was a, it was announced that the guards were sleeping and the cameras were not functioning. So w- one gentleman said, um, and I thought the point was so good, it's like El Chapo was held in that jail. Are you kidding me? The cameras were not working and the guards were asleep. I went, I am like, holy shit, El Chapo was there? I was like, damn. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> shit. Yeah, that dude's been that dude's run his gamut of fucking little prisons, hasn't he? Yeah. D- digging out of shit underneath the Motorcycle, toilet. Motorcycle tunnel and everything. <laughs> uh that is the timeline of events. Um where do you want to go from here? Oh man! Oh dear! Should I not that ask that, that question? question? Probably not. Do you want to just go on my notes here? Yeah, let's go. Well, let okay. Do we want to go into the end of the suicide? Let's break right into the suicide. Sure, absolutely. Let's get that out of the way because that's okay. that's easy. Okay. They did an independent study. Doctor yes, found another... three bones broken Correct. under the throat that would almost be vert. It'd be highly unlikely that those bones would break with By the way hanging. they said. The way they said, hanging, leaning forward, the amount of force it would take to break those. The, well, the doctor said he's never seen that ever. Yes. Not one time yes. in all the autopsies he did with someone that hung them. Hang? Hung, hanged, hanged, hanged themselves. themselves. Hanged themselves. Well hanged. Yes. Okay. Um, no, they're always well hung, but they hanged themselves. Uh, English no, is dumb. It's dumb. I don't even know if I'm right, man. I'm probably totally wrong. I've been... <laughs> Gaslighting you this whole time, Dick. thinking that it's right. No, uh, but in this case, though, it was the guy still said like highly unlikely it went this way because we have to. We don't know, right? There could be that one in gazillion chance of that these fucking three bones break. But then you look at the size of his inmate, who is a fucking gorilla. Well, that he like that was not on the documentary. No, they didn't talk so this about is, that at all. This is additional information that you and I have whatever Correct. read about, etc. And one other thing, there is the guy, I forget the guy named Mike something, and he's on Rogan a lot. And he's a debunker. Okay. So he's like, 9-11's not a conspiracy. This is not a, like, he's pretty debunky about a lot of the ones that even you and I would be maybe borderline about. More bunky? Right. So he's like, there's no way that guy didn't kill himself. There's no way there's conspiracy out. Well, then Rogan like goes, this happened. The cameras were out. The guards were asleep. This was this. This was, and he goes, Oh yeah, it could happen. <laughs> like, so, like, like, totally like one eighties. Oh, because shit. it's so funny because it's so nonchalant because he's like he's normally mm-hmm. able to completely just debunk or not debunk, but at least poke valid holes. I get you. Reasonable doubt, right? Yeah, like right, right, create right. reasonable doubt along the whole timeline. But then you line all these up and he's like, Oh yeah, then no. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny that way. Oh, uh, so I have to ask you. All right. Is it time think, for sushi yet? Almost. Oh, oh, yes. We're getting there. I think we're like four hours, 36 ST. minutes away. Sushi time. Sushi time. ST. <laughs> sushi time. Uh, there, there's one point that I had about, uh, there is a photograph of Epstein on the on a stretcher leaving the jail, being loaded into a 
ambulance, right? I guess. Uh, yes. EMT vehicle. So was that, was he alive? Was, was that picture f- altered, forged? Uh, video, what's it called? Photoshopped? Are you saying you're you're thinking he's like he's like Elvis, uh, Tupac, Biggie Smalls alive on an island somewhere, and he faked his death, or that he was killed versus suicide? I think that there's three possibilities. Okay, he, I want to hear. Let's okay, let's let's go through all Boom, three and jump then in the deep knock him out. Yeah, uh, fuck this. There's three possibilities I mean, in a good way. <laughs> in my like, mind, <clears throat> that was a good fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quickie for sure. <laughs> oh, uh, th- th- dude. One and a half. Two pump chomp. Two pump. Three pump chomp, maybe. Uh, Three possibilities. The German way. Drei. One, he killed himself like like the we've been told that he did. Second, somebody killed him. Third, this was all a ruse and he's alive. The dude died, supposedly. With the net worth, You're fucking supposedly, supposedly, did. bro. <laughs> That's such a great non-word. <laughs> he died with a net worth of five hundred and seventy-seven million dollars. He was incredibly powerful, incredibly wealthy, incredibly influential. Influential. God influential. damn. Influential. Too much death wish, bro. Nuclear. 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 And Whatever. he was a master manipulator. Yes. So, in, and two days before he signed a will doing something, put, but it wasn't yes. to keep his money. No, it was, it was, he signed, the will was altered to put all of his assets into a trust in the Virgin Islands. Yeah. That was, but two days before his death, right. that happened. It was the last F you right. in a weird way. So that none of the, none of the victims could get any money. Yes. And that actually made that, that action made me think, lean towards possible suicide actually in a weird way okay he's like consciously gonna fuck them and i'm i know i'm done so this is my last fuck you like there's no need for him to do that two days before he dies correct unless Absolutely someone correct. either coerced him to do it was he under duress it could once again be forced, forced yes and blah, i blah, thought blah, about blah, blah. that too so there's a lot of things okay so pick one of the three and let's let's bunk or debunk the three He's not I'm, dead. He, okay, he, I'm thinking he killed himself. No, let's start with it's that. It's definitely one. not one. Okay, he did not kill. He himself. He definitely did not kill himself. In I, my opinion, I agree. I agree that the the evidence that I have seen or that's been presented to the public would lean towards him not killing. And himself. that's and when you say that, that's not just the Netflix special. That's you've done other reading. You've other, listened to other podcasts. It's other there's, things. There's a bunch of other stuff. Right. There's there's gray. There's a lot of gray. Yeah. Reasonable doubt for sure just runs rampant in this whole thing. Um, okay, so he didn't kill himself. So we're down to not dead staged death. Yeah, that's three. Or, or two he or was two killed. that he was killed. Which of those okay, let's go. He was killed. What it makes sense. You it, do I, I agree. I think it's I think it's a fifty fifty in my opinion. And I, I may be on the outside of of the common belief. I mean let's uh, regarding that, I go eighty twenty. Um, okay, killed but, versus versus fake his own death, only because of the powers that be. But go ahead. Yes, absolutely. But he was one of the powers that be. So I I also look at it as the same thing. Where my my biggest biggest question in this whole thing, this whole the notes I've taken and the research I've done and talking to you about it, and now today is why this dude was a demon but he was a master manipulator and he had power to do basically whatever he wanted why would he fly back to new jersey why why would you in my mind he would know he would have i don't want to use the word spies he'd have informants in the fbi the cia he'd be paying all these people to know what's really going on and if they're going to come after him. He, so I don't, I don't get why did he even go to Jersey? Why did you, why? I don't think he knew this one. I honestly think that by going around 
Florida and going to the FBI that he that that was isolated from Jeffrey Epstein getting information. But he could buy off whoever he wanted. But I don't think he was ever at the FBI level, so he never needed to buy any. What, what, I don't think you need. I don't think you just buy off people to have them in your pocket at all yeah, times. At, yeah, like, really? It'd be like well, hey. I don't. I mean, well, I'm just saying. I like, I don't if, have five hundred million dollars. Right. If I'm rich, I'm like, I don't think. Like, should I have an FBI agent in my back pocket? Well, if really you're an evil that. fucker like no, no. him, yes. I know, but you're also narcissistic and think you're bulletproof and think you think you you're out smarter than everyone. Like, there's also some other things that you're you're a victim of your own amazing. I see like, your point. Yes, you know, the Hitler egotist- talk. He yes. could get away with whatever the your fuck egotistical he nature. To. Right. Yes. I mean, just, there's nothing you can do about that. But I don't think I honestly don't think I think it was a surprise. I don't or he wouldn't have been there. I don't think he would have been there had he thought that the FBI was coming. I disagree completely. I, I, I there's think no need to come then. So I, then exactly. tell me why. So I think that's what doesn't make sense to me is that I don't. The guy knew. I mean, he he I don't think he knew, though, but that's it. There's an assumption whether he knew or not. Right. So we'll go we'll go with your assumption that he knew. So let's go down that down that trail. OK, he knows. And then what? He comes anyway. Yeah. So that adds to the staging no his, his death kind of like adds to the whole. Yeah. That or what? Like what? What do you? I don't know. I, I don't have another. I don't have any more holes to go down regarding that. I just don't. There's there's things that are illogical about that event, about him going to New Jersey and getting arrested. I don't. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't think he was coming there to get arrested. I don't oh, know. Shit. And the other thing is, I don't know if he was leaving or arriving I or think what arriving. he was doing. I think he was a Rosie, but I don't know what, because I, I thought I, if I were to take a guess, I was feeling like they got him as he was going to leave to go somewhere, Oh, but I don't know. They didn't clarify and it would matter if it was, say they caught him leaving. Maybe he did get word just a little too late. Right? Yeah. So we don't know that. We don't know that. And that's all I'm saying is we don't know some of that information. We'd have to look at that. True. But, but that's very interesting. So, of the two, I personally, if I were going to say, I think he is dead. So what about the fake is on that? Do you think, do you think it's, there's a possible, a 50% possibility, 50, 50? In my, no, in my mind, it's, it's 50, it's 50, 50. He, he is alive and faked his own death or he was killed. That's right, how that's I see it. So, so there's a 50% chance that he faked his own death. That's a pretty high. Even, yeah. Because he with, had, because he had the means, he had the brains, the money, the power. He had the means in every sense of the word to do that. But and even, I don't see him getting, he was never sloppy. You know what I mean? He, he always got out of everything. He, for Christ's sake, he went to fucking prison and he was on work release and he's a pedophile. Come on. Right. But that's because I think he had a cost. Well, yeah. But he was in Florida at the time. True. And I don't know how, I don't know how political his aspirations went, if that makes sense. Acosta? Might, no, or, Epstein. Okay. I, he might, he had people in powerful positions, but they weren't necessarily always politicians. They Correct. They weren't necessarily always whatever. It was business so, and politics. Right. So he could have just held so many people under, like, with information he had on them, on dirt and whatnot. But that said, I don't know if he had the... The federal government. I don't. I don't know. I'm like I. I just don't know if he was. Fle- I, they never made it sound like he was fleeing, but they never made it sound like he landed and they arrested him, either. So right. They did. I'd have to look that up. I guess they did say that when they raided his his apartment in New York after he was arrested in 2018, um, 2019. Excuse me. That they did find fake passports and um, diamonds and other things that looked like could be a bug out pack, for lack of a better description. Which lends me to believe it was even more of a surprise. And because the apartment itself had all the computers and everything in it still, and then one of them was pulled out like it was previously, I feel like it was outside of his reach at that time. Not because he couldn't do it. I don't think you have to be, how many, how many chess moves ahead do you have to think here? Like to get the FBI in your pocket. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're like, yeah, it's 42 moves down the board. I was going to say 10, but sure. Sure, 10. Whatever. Whatever Cut it in half and double it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. So uh, anything else on the suicide versus death? Or do you want to talk about the, the, the cellmate? Well, I'm just saying I lean towards death, 80% dead, and that it was not him. Okay. Um, if, be, because of this, it's not like 
Trump and Clinton had things on each other. Like, well, I'm just saying. I'm for using sake of na- argument. I'm sorry. For, I'm using names of people that we know have been in pictures or was seen with them, right? Yeah. So I'm with Woody Allen. We saw him with Kevin Spacey. Yeah. We saw him with Harvey Weinstein. We saw him with Donald Trump. We saw him with Bill Clinton, right? Yeah. Ju- I don't know if those all guys had them on each other, but it seems to be that F scene was the, to your point, the ring hub and sp- or the hub and spoke, right? Yeah. The hub. Yeah. So what you do is he gets arrested. He is now the key to everyone else. They're all going to fucking want him dead. Absolutely. So that makes that just, it just, it's just logic. Like, yeah, he could have killed himself and been like, yeah, I could have gotten caught. It doesn't seem that from the evidence and the, what we've seen in the autopsy. Okay. So if he, in your opinion, he was killed. So to go back to the, his will was altered two days earlier. Was that, was that harassed? Was he forced into doing that? Or was that real? Did he know his time was coming? It is spe- completely speculative, right? Well, yeah, I'm asking your opinion. He was just f- screwing them over, and I don't know how long, how many days was he Two. in jail? Oh, um, da, da, da. five days? Three no, days? he was arrested July 6th, and he died August in August. So, oh, okay. I mean, at least a month. Okay, so a month. So, but yeah, the, the will thing was changed two days before seems weird. So that's odd. If I were to speculate, that would make me lean more towards suicide. But two days before, not like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like, I don't know. Do you plan your, you know, when you're going to commit suicide, like the day, the day you're going to commit suicide, my understanding from what I've seen in the psychology and people that I've, I've had some experience with that. Um, the day of, you know, you're like super calm, you're calm, you're just a different person because you know it's over. But I don't know how far ahead you plan it. Like, in three days, I'm going to kill myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just because he did it two days before, that could have just honestly been completely just the time thing versus an intent I, I see. Yeah, I, yeah. I see, I see what you're saying. Because it's hard to be like, yeah, okay, I'm going to sign this now. And then but, in two days, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, But he's days. also in prison, right? So Or in the federal jail in New York City. Yeah. So And it was called the Tombs. Was he not on? He was also on Suicide Watch. I don't think they said that on the documentary, but I believe that he was. Outside of the documentary, it was my understanding that he was on Suicide Watch. He didn't have laces, right? Shoelaces or anything. I don't know like about that. that. Um, also, the bruising isn't consistent with the sheet. Just around the neck. That's a separate thing that I saw. Could be. Okay. I, once again, it's hard because it's a borderline conspiracy thing again. And the second we oh, put we on love the tin, those dudes. I know. But the second, second we put on the tin foil hats, bro. Dude, where's my we're, hat? we're ready to Shit. make. We're ready to make baked potatoes. <laughs> uh, love, mm, papa. Just, yeah, just like my head just boil inside of this uh, tin foil. But to that to that end, um, yeah, he had to been on suicide watch. How was his demeanor for a month before he did? Before it happened, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. If I were gonna kill him, I wouldn't do it. I would do it a month later. Like, I'm just looking at it. I wouldn't do it three days after he gets there. That would be super suspicious. Oh, you mean kill him? Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant suicide. Oh, kill, I'm sorry, kill him. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. His death. If I were to kill if him, you, versus, okay. Yeah, let's say you were to kill. Him. Let's say you're president. John, President Dr. Pepper, President Pepper. So sweet. sweet. I'm sorry. I only go by Dr. President Dr. Pepper. No, just Dr. Dr. Pepper. Dr. President Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, President Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. So Potts. if, if, if Jeffrey Epstein has something on Dr. Pepper, presidential, whatever the fuck, don't you want him dead sooner rather than later? Why wait a month? To make it look less suspicious. Pretty certain. Yes. First of all, to make it less suspicious. Pretty certain he's not going to rat. Like, he's not going to have an independent journalist come and rat him out. In my opinion, I think he knows he's going to get off again because he's got Dershowitz and he's got all these other fucking high-powered attorneys. Yeah, I agree with that. We didn't talk about Dershowitz either. No, which it's is on my list. Come on. Oh, okay. Because he wasn't even on the thing. Maybe but I'd forgotten. Okay. We no, can, no, no, he's on there. Um, okay, I was just saying on the timeline thing. No, he was not on the timeline. It's a, and it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but you're Jeffrey Epstein. You've gotten, you've done what you've done. You know you've done what you've done. You know how many people you've physically, emotionally, whatever, touched. 
in various different ways. You've gotten you've gotten this far without getting hurt, like without really having any punishment. Do you think you're going to get away with it this time? Of course, yeah. So, what? I don't think you'd be in the mindset of like I'm fucked. I, I agree. I, I just I just don't think he would be. That said, it could be like I've been running my whole time and sweating, and he's had this calm demeanor, right? Like you know, some people like always on the run, and then they finally get caught. Like, oh god, I can relax because like, yeah, I've I've been running so well. You know he's I mean? always been like that. He's always been calm. Right. That's my question, though. Is it is he calm? Because like in his head, he thinks he's that he's God. Yeah. Right. He's yeah. Godlike. Yeah. Absolutely. Or is he is he just showing a calm demeanor and freaking the fuck out inside? Because that's that's the guy who would commit suicide. Right, not the guy who thinks he's going to get off again. So we need to know his mindset. What he did? He think he was going to get, you know, not found not be found not guilty after this. Wouldn't that affect whether you? I mean, probably kill yourself or not. Because I wouldn't want the punishment. Or would you wait? Would you think? Okay, would you go through the trial and see like, oh shit, this is not going well. Excellent point. Or did. Could you buy off some jurors? Could you know? What I mean, you could because you you have many PIs. Could they find dirt on those people or try to blackmail them or buy them off? Hey, here's a million dollars to say not guilty or have a hung jury or whatever. <laughs> Hanged jury? Your jury was hung. Well, uh, um, like ten inches. Well hung. Well, hu- well hanged. Like high noon. <laughs> um. Question, I think. Yes. Epstein. No. Oh, I'm just going to tell you. Okay. He was killed. <laughs> well, that's your... Oh, dude, I just broke Beavis. Oh, bro. Fuck. What did you... His leg broke off? It doesn't yeah. pop out of the socket? Yeah, okay, it did. Dead. Dead.com. Bro. bro. Oh. How much have you manipulated this guy? I manipulated Beavis. <laughs> He needs to get crazy. One leg Beavis. <laughs> crazy leg. Do you have any gorilla groove, blow? Bro, if you get cut off the other leg and we replace it with blades, we could have like a Beavis Pistorius. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I broke him. Bro, you broke the beef. Oh, I need TP. Mm. TP for my one leg. <laughs> TP. I am TPing. <laughs> I am TPing now for my bungle. He's tipping. All right. Um, so <laughs> do you think. What what does that change your mind? Whether he killed himself or whether he committed suicide, and you still think it's fifty percent? Yeah, because alive. again, he has the means. Fifty percent. He has the means number. to pull it off. He could buy off everyone in that jail, dude. He had he, money. He's he, he's worth five hundred seventy seven million dollars. He can throw away a hundred million. Ha, but, but on the jail on the jail to buy off everyone in the jail. The guys driving the driving the EMTs. You know, all that who, shit. Who, how does one orchestrate that level of everyone getting paid off? To well, the, the lawyers would have to, the okay. lawyers would would talk okay. to the PIs and they'd be giving out bags of money. You know, kind of like that college put fucking get money inside the McDonald's bags. They but do different. It, they do it like that. Uh, wait, what? Huh? There was a college. There wasn't just hot coffee? There was, it was a college. Hot I think bills? it was Tennessee. Or, Oklahoma State. Probably. No, it was like Tennessee or Georgia. I think it was Tennessee. They were found... A couple years ago, recruiting, they had these high schoolers on campus, and they were giving them McDonald's bags full of cash. Beautiful. This was just a month ago. I didn't see it. <laughs> some things I see, some things I don't. I don't. You, I don't look don't, for the news. You're good. You don't me. need to see that shit. Yeah, news finds me, man. I don't find news anymore. Interesting. No, don't put his leg. <laughs> put, him, put him. Just put Humpty Dumpty. Put at him least back next together. to him. Back to Beavis next Dumpty. To him. <laughs> Humpty Beavis. <laughs> um. Ugh. All right. You, so I, I just think 50% a lot. Oh, that's fine. You're however, entitled to think whatever you want. However, so am I, I. Did, I did watch my. Bro. Whoa. <laughs> I did watch Michael Douglas's The Game with Sean Penn. Uh-huh. One of my favorite movies it's of good. all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that whole thing was orchestrated. So that's pretty good. <laughs> but that was a movie. So. Yeah, that was fictional. Bro. I know. But still, it's pretty. It's, I like the way they did that movie. That's in really 2011, cool. Contagion came out. And that came true in 2020. So fuck it. Oh, shit. All right, I'm out. Oh, bye. <laughs> back to you, Chuck. Oh, yeah, why'd you go back to me then? I don't, get off me, bro. bro. So, do you want? Are we good with the suicide death thing or not? Yeah, I, I, okay. are you good with it? Because you had three. You had yes. three very excellent options. 
Uh, well, option one's not valid, in my opinion, and two and three. <laughs> so it's not as valid. No, Because a lot of people kill themselves when they get busted. But I don't think... I don't think not, he did. That's not I, in his DNA to do that. Yeah, I don't. Because he's going to. Well, did did Hitler shoot himself in the head? Or do you think he was going to get it? You know what I'm saying? Like, walls were coming in. Mm, ah, yeah. Because, okay. So do you. All right. What's next? What, what do you have next on your. No, no, don't. I'll get yeah. off me, bro. <laughs> um, Prince Andrew. Okay. The Duke of blah, blah, blah. Kids a fuck. The the fucking prince, the youngest Queenie QE two offspring. Is he, is he? Younger than Charles. He's under Charles, right? Charles uh, and Andrew. Uh, yeah. Sure. Charles and Andrew. Okay. I just watched that little fucker get born, I think, too. Uh, Some fucking TV show that no. <gasps> oh, He's not that young. Dun, 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 he's dun, got dun. he's older than us, dude. Oh yeah. He's in his fifties. I meant I meant when didn't he get married to some did he get married to Sarah was it Sarah was he the one that was with Sarah Ferguson? I don't know. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. Uh, now I need to look that shit no, up. No, you don't. don't even you don't enough. have to look. Let's it talk up. about Prince Andrew. Just Go. lock your computer. Tell me about Prince so Andrew. So in 2001, a young woman was alleged that she was sex trafficked by Jeffrey Epstein to Prince Andrew, who abused her in London. He's a Duke of York. You're correct. The Duke, 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 Duke of Oil, Oil, Oil. There is a picture with this young lady at the age of 17 with Prince Andrew, with uh, Giselaine Little Maxwell in the background. And the prince says he doesn't recall taking that picture. Doesn't never met the girl. D- denies everything categorically. Sarah Ferguson, F- whatever, is his ex-wife. And the reason I fucking know all this shit is because Meg watches I was a in show in fucking Germany in 1986 when the wedding was going on. And Europe was fucking cray cray. I just happened to be there. Oh, uh, okay. It's weird. Anyway. So yeah, he was the one with Sarah Ferguson, the redhead. Cute redhead. And then they, they got, she was the first divorce like 10 years later. They never got divorced, I didn't think back then. I didn't. But Deanna, they all set precedences. Many of the precedents. When was he found in the 2000 something? When or was, was he 90 what? something? When was he, the picture taken? 2001. 2001? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. And then that information was leaked in 2015. Yes. So he didn't, the prince denies ever knowing the girl, but... Uh, he doesn't remember even the picture. Correct. He just says he never remember even taking a picture. So... Doesn't remember going ever being upstairs in that house, which is Jelaine Maxwell's French for condo house. In condo yeah. in London or France? London. I was it London? But... They, he claims a great friendship with her, but never was upstairs in her place ever. Like those two things just seem inconsistent just right there. And then that he doesn't, you know, the woman was saying that he sweated all over and he's like, I had a condition where I didn't I sweat. sweat Get the f- at that time while he's sweating profusely on the fucking interview. Uh, interview. You don't like that guy, huh? I don't like who I don't like people who think they can just say whatever the fuck they want and expect us to just eat it like big turd sandwiches but that's what you do on this podcast where do i accept what people say i let people say what they want i still have opinions (laughs) so who who do you hate Uh, worse than prince andrew oh few people jesus (laughs) i'm just kidding i love jesus Jesus, i don't know if jesus loves me but according there's a song that says he does yeah this this i know yes Jesus V, dude. Steve's co-worker. Steve works with the big guy. All right. You tell me, man. What about this? So, in addition, I, the rabbit hole, once again, what, there is a, there is a one hour, almost a one hour long interview. And is that with the BBC? With the BBC that Prince Andrew did to defend himself. Yes. And all it did was make him seem like he was, More a, it was guilty. a confession. It's, it seemed, was a confession. Yeah. He didn't, that didn't go well for him. That wasn't. He is not a. He's either not a smart man, or, or he's just not prepared because he flustered. Like, off the top of our heads, we could come up with better fucking shit, a hundred times better. Yeah, and he knew that was coming up. Like someone could come to me off the street and start hounding me like she and she didn't even hound him. She just asked some serious hard. They were direct hard questions, but they were to get answers. Yeah, I would have easily the stuff you could have just fucking made up. 
Yeah, I took a picture with her. I took a picture with a gazillion hundred people. people. A day. Uh, yeah, every, you know how many people I took a picture with uh, last year? Yeah, 13,246. Okay. That's a lot of people. Boom. Am I supposed to fucking remember this one woman? Was I ever upstairs in Giselle, uh, Jeline's house or whatever? Um, we've been friends since fucking since college, since uni. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the shit that he was trying to dodge around it versus he could have easily just claimed all of it and it and it would have been innocuous, I think. Yes. He didn't do well. No. In, like, in oh. addition to that, the um the IT guy on the island who did all the telecommunications and networks and shit saw him with that girl on the island in the pool together uh, and they they were gr- groping each other. Gr- grinding. He was grinding. Grinding. On her. Thank you. He yes. was grinding on her. What he and what it was was he saw a current picture of her and did not recognize her. But then he saw an old picture of her because she saw does that, not look. No, sick. he saw that yeah. picture. He saw that picture and said, "Yes, that's, that's the one her. they saw her at the pool yeah. grinding." Right. So, and one more thing about this fucking Andrew guy, oh, okay? dude. I'm sorry no, I brought this. This subject. guy walks in and he talks about breaking things off with. He talks about breaking things off with Epstein. His he's going to break off oh, communication because he's found guilty. Or, is this what it, the prince is saying? Yeah, the prince. Okay, I don't remember like, this. Okay. Well, then he stayed at his house for four fucking days. Remember, that's the whole fucking thing. He goes, "Oh, you didn't. That's right. You didn't watch the interview. Have you ever watched the interview in its entirety? No, not the whole okay. hour. Worth watching. No, thank you. It is worth watching because this guy's a bumbling idiot. It's like funny. You you just eat popcorn and laugh at this fucking moron. So he goes, "I. Uh, what does he say? He, goes, he stayed at his oh. house. He goes." Why didn't you? Why didn't you just call him and break things off? Because I felt it was good to go, better to go face to face to break it off, right? So then he goes, she goes, you stayed there four days. It was convenient to stay there. He actually said, it was a convenient thing to do in a fucking sexual predator's house to stay four days later after you're going to break off ties after you find that he's a sexual predator or or the accusations are there, bro, bro. This guy's uh, uh, and then secondly. Was this? Yeah. He goes, I worked for something with children and, and I know what to look for. And I never saw any of that. I look, I knew what to look for and I never saw it. No. And then later in the interview, he goes, I never thought to look for it. He said the exact fucking opposite thing within the interview. And this is the one that gets me nuts because that interviewer had him on the road dead to right. She's like, Wait a minute. You told us that you worked with this type of stuff, so you had an eye for it and never saw it. And now you're claiming that you never thought to even look for it. So which one is that? Because that's a big difference. It's just right there, you know? Anyway. It absolutely is. I've got, I'm, I'm a, you know what? I'm an anti-Androite. Whoa. Just, just this one. Just, just this one, one Andrew. Yeah. I'm anti Prince Android. Not not mo- not all of them. Yeah, I like a lot of Drews and Andrews and Andy. Right. Andy's. Yeah. Hey, bring an Andy over. Andy seems all like a fun them. guy. Anything else on the Prince? Get off me, bro. Don't don't tell me what to do. I'm <laughs> done I'm done with the Prince. What do you please final thoughts? I think he's guilty as shit. Um and I believe he's like and it's not sequestered, but he's been in the royal palace for an extended period of time because of these allegations. Is oh, that really? correct? I don't know this. Okay. No, I, don't I don't know where that. I heard that. But he should stay the fuck out of everybody's way because he's a fucking piece of shit. Yes. And once again, it goes into the royal thing. I thought that, that too. Great? Because we'll never be royals, bro. So they've got the uh, 13 miles of coastline. They own all the dolphins, dolphins. and they diddle girls. And the Batcave. Yes, and they have non-consensual sex with minors. That's fucking great. Thank you. I should not be in charge of the subject matter. You brought this one to me, bro. I, 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 I did want to talk about it. I just didn't know how we could talk about it because it's so much. So much to unpack. So we're not releasing it. Okay, that's fantastic. Love it. No, we're good. We're an hour 13 we're in. in. Or an hour, an hour. Whatever it takes. Hour, whatever. Yeah. So, Andrew. Okay, Akata, now what's next? Uh, we already talked about Acosta resigning yeah, from he, the Department of Labor. What are your thoughts about all that, though? All those connections, all those ties, and how much? He just looks like a fucking weasel. No, nah, he looks like a wet fish. Like, he's not... <laughs> that is a he's, not a, he's not a... He doesn't even look like a man. He looks like a... 
That's the guy you like say. Like a piece of spaghetti. He was soft spoken. He never talked much. He was our neighbor. That oh yeah, he went on killings, bro. Yeah, he never talked to anybody. <laughs> that's, that's the guy I see. He just seemed like he just seems dirty. I, every time I see a picture of him, and when he tries to explain it and he talks about it, I just get it gets dirt. It gets ugly. It's dirty. I feel like his words are lies and dirt and dirtiness and ugliness. In addition, shave your head. Do it, the comb over, bro. Oh, he's got the comb. Stop, please. Dear all comb over people. Yeah. Just go, man. Just Gillette that shit. It's going to be okay. That he resigned from a position of which there's only 15 in the world tells you either how scared he was about something coming out or how powerful the evidence may be or, or how badly he felt or not bad felt or how much trouble he felt he could be in, I think, if he kept going. And I didn't look at it that way at first because I looked at it as the number of people that quit or got fired in the Trump administration was astronomical. That is also I mean, correct. people came and went. It seemed like they were coming in and out of damn 7-Eleven buying fucking beer. So I, I was just like, oh, he's just another another Statistic, guy, right? the director of the FBI, the director of the little, la, la, the, you know, they just was like this revolving door of people. So I think that that devalued the the horribleness of the entire situation and all the victims and all the survivors because this guy, it was overshadowed by the fact that so many people quit or got fired during yeah. those four years. Yeah, and it is, it is, once again, hard to say what it was. But I thought they implied, though, that Trump called him and said, yo, Epstein... I would not be surprised by that. about that. So I would not be surprised because that would make sense from a political perspective, right? That president or that whoever right. goes, hey, look, man, you, you have to quit because right. you're going to take us this. all down. Yeah, the optics. You have to cut the ties. Yeah. So, but it's like, it's interesting though, whether he would be this, he would say like, yeah, we need to talk about this. This doesn't look good or whether it was you know, strategic. Well, and besides the fact, blow up, whether it was a blow up or whether it was, strategic. I am assuming strategic. I'm assuming all of, the, I think it was too, you know, all well, the Schumer advisors called for his head. Chuck Schumer called for his head. So oh, that, okay. that was, well, that was the pressure was because of the Epstein thing coming up. The pressure was for Acosta to resign because he could have had him still in jail right now. Like this would have never gotten there. Had Acosta done his, yes, had done more. I'm not going to say right. his job because you can argue he did his job, but it just wasn't Well, done there thoroughly. was one count and there right. was immunity. Right, and he said, yeah, because so, we got a conviction. That's a horseshit fucking Of course answer. it was, but he had to defend himself. Yeah, statistic, right? It's like, hey, I'm one for one. Okay, what'd you get? Oh, two days in jail. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, wh what? Manson, <laughs> two days? Sweet. You're like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Anyway. Okay. Anything last one, Acosta? Uh, no, he's a wet oh, new... Stop. Wet noodle, bro. Wet noodle. I like wet, wet noodle. noodle head. No, 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 neon noodle. <laughs> rubber eraser head. I'm going to rub you out, see? Rub you out. Duck Twacy, bro. What kind Daffy Duck. of vehicle is Marine One? Helicopter. Is it? Yeah. I think. Do the thing. Do the thing. Helicopter. Oh. Oh, oh the helicopter. <laughs> We're going to have, you know what? I should, I should reach out to her. You, you think should. I should reach out to Cher Lloyd and go, Cher Lloyd, you are the center of our podcast the last couple that we've done. And we're all helicopter. <laughs> I played it for you. You know, it's true. Oh, it dude. We should put that link on the fucking on the notes, shouldn't we? All right. I got to get you a toy that? helicopter, dude. <laughs> okay. We should get a toy op helicopter transformer is what we should get. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not a GoBot, though. Don't <laughs> fuck, fuck GoBots. Don't fuck with me with GoBots and their half-assed bullshit. They're, they mail that shit Copycat, in. Copycat, bro. Yeah. Anyway. Not good. Uh, my next notes are regarding the fact that the web of horseshit Epstein and Maxwell and the other people that recruited girls they targeted a certain kind of girl. They targeted somebody with a a past where they had been abused as a kid or came from, their parents were drug addicts. Or they came from a bad situation. And they brought them in in the hopes of getting out of that situation and then manipulated them in that way. Um, 
in addition. That's disgusting. Yeah. It's almost like, this is my paraphrase. So it's almost like he got off on that. He got off on the fact that this, this young woman was previously traumatized and that. Well, he's going to go, how can I use this to my advantage? Right. How am I, this woman's broken. I can use that. Yeah. That's basically all it was. And I, and do you think that was a conscious thought or is that, was it okay? Well, he's a predator. Well, yeah. I mean, or is that just what he did? Is that just, (sighs) you know what I mean? Was that conscious or was that just his behavior pattern on subconsciously? Epstein could instinctually just be a fucking predator. Right. And not even, he doesn't, he doesn't even know any better. Is that, is that possible? No better or not care better for sure. Yeah. Right. I mean, look, no. Yeah, that's a bad statement. Well, like, I think if, I withdraw that. Well, no, no, I because it's valid. Because better, once again, better is a judgment thing. So it's like knowing better, like knowing that if I take your life is not good for you, well, this versus is true. caring whether your life continues or not. Those are two very different things, right? Yeah. Like, I just don't know the level that his went. I can tell you that the thing about the trauma that he could just sense, absolutely real. Because it's like birds of a feather. It's it's very interesting. Anyway, next. Next. Ooh, did I next to you? You did. Damn it. I love it. Uh, the next I thing. You, bro. Uh, I'm looking forward. We're, we're getting close to our bro sushi. I know. Rolling time sushi It's the time. final countdown. In addition to targeting a certain kind of a girl, each victim's story started the same, where they were asked to give Mr. Epstein a massage and escalated very quickly from there. Uh, many victims did not want to prosecute for fear of retribution from Epstein and his army of PIs and not nice people. Um, the, I was trying to f- figure out how big does this thing go? And they interviewed two different women who were abused and then recruited other girls. Uh, one girl said she brought 24 other girls. One girl said she brought between 40 and 60. And the main private investigator that worked with the FBI and worked at, uh, he did some surveillance on Epstein, said that he knew of 46 victims. So obviously those numbers could, o- they could overlap, right? Yeah. But you're talking... 100? I would think at least 100, right? If not more, yeah. And that's... Sure. and. Of those, four of them were related. I mean, two pairs of sisters. Okay, of, let's say, 100, 150 victims, six or seven were on the documentary. So, how, and this is horrible, but I thought, how many killed themselves? How many are so, how many are so emotionally traumatized that they can't even talk about it? How many are so messed up in so many ways that nobody knows about. And I was like, that's what makes it odd, right? That there's only six or seven that we know of that speak to this with the depth that it was and the, and like the credibility of the accusations. Yeah. Obviously there's, there are always going to be accusations because he was not found guilty and what, but we're pretty certain we know what the fuck's going on here. Right. Like court of court of public appeal. This dude's fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Piece of shit. And in the one case of the one girl that brought 24 other girls, I thought, okay, how many freaked the fuck out and was like, fuck you. I'm and they ran. There, ha- there had to be some. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. And they wouldn't say anything. They'd just be like, I oh, just laughed or whatever. You right. I, mean? I was 17. This weird thing happened. I was uncomfortable and I got out of there. So I'm trying to think of all the young ladies involved, how many are no longer with us? How many are going to be in therapy the rest of their lives? How many can't talk about it? How many didn't? How many were at the house or where in uh, in Paris or in New Mexico, his other fucking estate, and didn't get abused but were attempted? Mm-hmm. You know, we're, I don't think we're ever going to know that. But right. there, ha- there has to be a, at least a percentage, I would guess. Yeah. What's interesting about this, too, is Ideas and general thoughts are bad. Oh, I thought my ideas were bad. They're probably also bad. That's yeah. Bad. Now that you say that, yeah, yes. Yeah, now that I say that. Uh, moving along to, um, we'll save the young lady for last, but uh, Alan Dershowitz was Mr. Epstein's lawyer and for several cases, and he 
was accused by the same young lady that um, was abused by Prince Andrew. She says that um, Alan Dershowitz slept with her six or seven times. Five or six times, six or seven times. And he completely denies that. He played a very big role in this documentary for me because the things he said were very powerful. So it wasn't like he was on there a lot, but when he was on there, everything he said was had a point. I, I agree. But this is where I'm really confused now. Because I, I want to think the They start with Dershowitz, and they say, he goes, I was born a defense attorney. Yeah. Well, he defended OJ. Right. And you and, look at the and, list. And a bunch of famous fucking people. Famous people just who are accused of some really fucking crazy shit. Right? Like, yeah. Really bad shit. And murder. And I get there is that mentality. It's like everyone's right to that fairness of a trial, whatever, right? And do yeah. everything you can. Yeah. I am curious what level that played for everyone, right? Because, like, if I'm, if I'm your defense attorney, I would never want to know of course. if you did it or not. Right. And if I ever heard one way or another, I could either defend or not defend you. Like if someone told, like honest, I'll be honest. If I were a defense attorney and someone's like, yeah, if I can cut that person to 13 pieces and fucking stuck in my trunk, I'd be like, I, I got to go. Like I, I, but we're someone who's saying, you know, obviously may have, that may have been the accusation, but they're claiming their innocence the whole time, right? They're claiming that they didn't do it. It's much different than a confession, right? This yeah. guy, so this guy has defended all these people Famous, I mean, infamous, famous more. people infamous? accused of doing bad things. Yeah, and then so the credibility is like, well, he defended Epstein also, and they were friends, they were colleagues. He gave him his book to read to, so he could review it and stuff. So now there's another tie with Epstein, is correlation causation, right? Is he part of it? Because is that what made them friends, <laughs> right? <laughs> or how did that whole thing happen? That's entirely possible. I, I, I mean, and and again, it's to your point of he said, she said. Right. So when, when they when they interview the young lady and she says A, and they interview Dershowitz and he says B, that are categorically not the same. Who do you believe? Yeah. It, so how credible is Dershowitz's claim that he's not that he did not do that? Or is there own. proof? Is there video footage somewhere? Right. I'm just talking about right now we're in a he said, she said. Correct. We'll just talk about credibility of the two individuals. The credibility of the two individuals is the one woman accused Prince Andrew and has a picture up with him. Prince Andrew's a fucking bumbling moron and it happened. We know we, we, we we're, we're pretty did. certain. We don't have proof. We no, weren't there. We didn't see D but again, we didn't see D and V, but we're pretty <laughs> certain. <laughs> pretty, <laughs> we didn't see P and V, no D and V, no big D. Okay. No A, no V, no no M, no, no ATM, no MTA. Thank you. Move along. I don't know. No M F F F M M M F F F M. You jerk face. <laughs> but that all said, like, why claim Dershowitz then? Like, there, there's no additional add-on. Like, she's got a plenty of cred with the son of the Queen of England. Well, I think she's stating that she was trafficked. Is that she was right? loaned out by Epstein no, my point to is, other people. Right. My point is a where, why would she lie about it being Dershowitz is my point. I, I agree completely. Where Dershowitz has a little bit more of an uphill climb on credibility. Do you believe him? No. I have a hard time believing him too. Because he has every right to claim his innocence. He has to be proven that. I, why, why would, even if he, you know what I mean? Like I, he would say he's not guilty regardless. And I found it very interesting that they, he, his interview was, you know, speckled throughout the four part documentary, right? Yeah. Well, the last half hour, that's when they get to the point that she says that he slept with me six times. They right. waited, they, they waited three and a half hours of his to, credibility of and his, his testimony of other stuff. Or right. And I was like, oh, shit. Because there was never an accusation that he is also guilty of this. Yeah. That was not till late. And then I was like, late. oh, fuck, this fucking guy too? Yep. Oh, Weird, right? No, I'm with you. It, it was the strangest thing in that respect. 
Yes. Anything else on the lawyer, sir? Um, no. Okay. So, moving along to my favorite subject regarding this. The building on the island, separate from all the other buildings that Mr. Epstein said was his gym, his fitness center, uh, is not anything like the rest of the buildings on the island. It's painted in these strange white and blue stripes, has a gold dome, and is very far away from all the other structures, whatever you want to say. The night time is the right time. The night time is the right time. What is that? What is that? What is it's from Adam Sandler. Okay. When the guy, when we, why won't you join a call with me? Okay. So there are pictures on the internet, whether they're, whether they're real or not. Um, I, I, again, Photoshopped, I don't know, but I've had several conversations with several people that brought this to my attention and they did not mention it in the documentary. They did show the building, but there are pictures of this building. Um, there are concrete altars in front of it. And there are two gold statues on top of the building, which I don't remember the name of the figurehead, but it's like the demon of child sacrifice and pedophilia. Yeah. And you're turning that, your. I'm just turning that for you. Is that that's the that's building? The building. So you okay. see the gold statue on the yeah. on the corner, correct? Yeah. So I was just making sure. Yeah, it's blue and white. It's striped very, horizontally with a gold dome, gold like uh, accents everywhere. Yeah, and some other stuff. So and there, there's a. I just beer Google just a very sim. I just wrote. Uh, I think I typed Epstein in, Island or some shit. I did Epstein Jim Alter. There you go. So uh, then, after. A L T A R, not E R, not altered. Not altered, altar. but altar. So um, we don't want to get homonymed in this mother. That's isn't homonym the worst. Getting homonymed is like I BS. didn't know homonymed was a verb, bro. Well, I just made a verb, so so I approve that. So later on, the statues on top of the building and the altars were removed. So, do you have a time frame on that? I don't. I do not. Okay. I I, okay, I, I'm just I wish I did. I wish I had some more information, but I. If you have statues on the top of the building that are known to be child sacrifice and child pedophilia associated, that's fucked up. And uh, yeah, so I'm just I'm curious of the fact that this was on Netflix, but they this was released for ratings. Oh, for I mean sure. that's so that's what they, they don't they don't not make stuff. Correct. To not be so that James Patterson um, is a very well known f- fictional author, one of the best selling authors of all times, wrote many books, and he was a uh, he wrote a book on this, which then the book was made in the series. So, is it the is this what we're they want us to know? And I don't like that day shit because I don't have my tinfoil hat on me. So, what? is really going on. Are there other things going on besides the un- massively unfortunate events with all these young ladies? Is there, obviously, um, Clinton was there 24 times, even though he denies it. Uh, the the prince, ex- you know, the number of famous people that have been on the island, Trump, etc. What is what was in the documentary all that happened or was there other shit that happened as well that we don't know about that we may never know that's the question right which is why Epstein was killed um, <clears throat> absolutely anyway. I mean that could that that could be the so, reason so August 1st 2019 here's an article uh, from NBC News just the clickbait which is, I'll just read the okay. I'll just read the headline because okay. it is clickbait but there it is Jeffrey Epstein's bizarre blue stripe building on private island raised alarm the building was supposed to be a music pavilion, but the actual structure bears little resemblance to the plans that were submitted to agency officials. So once again, there's even more curiosity. I don't even know what the plans for agency officials. I don't know if that's the FBI or whatever, but this building is weird. It's a weird looking building. Bohemian Grove. Have you heard of Bohemian Grove? No. Bohemian Grove is the one that Alex Jones uh, took a video camera okay. out in the woods a pl- a Bohemian Grove is actual place. Okay. And it's a 60 acre, 100 acre, whatever. And all these rich people go in with their masks and they burn things in effigy and they go and they do their little chants. And oh my God, is that, that that movie I watched? The Tom Cruise? Skull and Bones one? No. 
the the one you made me watch that I hate you. Oh no, that's a sad, that's the sex one, bro. Yeah, but I think they not do Vanilla that too. Sky. The other, yeah, the, the other one. Yeah, I didn't make you watch that. I still haven't watched that. How could I make you watch it? Because I'm saving you from watching. It. <laughs> but you you accuse me of telling you to watch it. I would never tell you to watch something I'd never watched. Y- yeah, you would. I say you watch it together. And make popcorn and have sushi <sighs> on Valentine's Day with me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, but to your point, yeah, this thing's weird. Um, but anyway, Bohemian Grove was a place for rituals and all these other things, so it could be that. But if there was a child sex thing on that, it would just add more to the depth of the depravity of the child sexual acts or whatever. Y- yes, I- I don't but know. I believe that the, this. I believe this is just the tip of the iceberg. I think Epstein is a a scapegoat. And I think this problem is much bigger than we really know or understand. You know, I hear stuff about kids go missing, you know? So is this, is there a, is there a massive network underneath our noses? And this was just one that got exposed and now it's already off the radar, you know? It's, it's, it came and went. COVID came. To your point, agendas come and go. Our attention gets shifted. Wag the dog, right? Like, yeah. Distraction. That, welcome to the world, man. We, we talk about that all the time. Because of the fact that it's on Netflix, is this just what we're being groomed to know? And then is there a million other things going on just like this or worse but we're never going to know that because, oh, yeah, I saw that Netflix special and Epstein was guilty and now it's everything's fine. Well, it's kind of like it reminds me of the, the flying thing, right? Like you have a plane crash. What's like the worst fucking reasoning for the plane to crash? Pilot error. Yeah. Why? Oh, the pilot's gone. So it won't happen again. You don't know what fucking happened to the fucking thing that ended up killing the guy. Like saying pilot error and that pilot's gone, right? It's kind of like your thing. Epstein, it's Epstein error. Well, he's gone. I get it. I see your so point. So now there's no now there's no pedophilia because Epstein is gone. Uh, well, what? No. Yeah, I get I get what you're saying. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that was I, almost <laughs> a helicopter. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's this. I feel like. Epstein with young women is just a fucking monster. And he got everyone to, he got black dirt on all these other people and got all his wealth and orchestrated and connected them all to do this. And it's a big network. It's a, and when I, we talk about ring, right? Charles said, it's not a ring and I get the ring thing, but it is a network. And there is usually, there is some, not hierarchy per se, but there's like a go-to like who's the expert in, in, in young women, Epstein, Who's the who's the expert? I, I get it. Orange see. puffy hair. Trump, like those kinds of things, right? <laughs> like, who's the who's you know who's the expert Huge. in Alzheimerism? Biden. But you know you know what I'm saying. But that's that's where oh, we're at. With this. I don't think he was any worse. I think that the people who also delved in this world delve in the ritual, possible satanic thing, and the skull and bones, and the effigy, and the mur- like the really sinister stuff. This is really sinister. Yeah. This guy was the best of this one portion of the sinisterness. There are 10 other sinister things that people who dip their toes in this probably dip their toes in that as well. Does that make sense? Yes. Like the, I would, this Bohemian Grove thing I mentioned. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I have to look at that up. Yeah. You have to look it up. But basically this Bohemian Grove thing I mentioned would be Where one is of that? those things. I think it's in California. Wisconsin. I have to, I have to look it up. Okay. Never mind. I don't uh, want to know. I, it comes up right was away. Was there a gender and reveal and party there? No, but it's legit. The guy, he comes in with a camera and there's this whole ritual thing going on and they've got these outfits on. Robes. So there's no one seeing, they can't tell who they are or whatever. So they kind of get in, get all this weird footage and it's weird. There's n- you don't know what the fuck's going on, but it's just like chanting and, you know, and ritual things happen all the time. Like a lot of people go through it. Look at the Catholic church. Every Sunday is a ritual. Every day. You go through. Oh yeah, it's true. With yeah. sure, my dad. Yeah, it's, it's true. Every day. It's bro. true. And, but when you go into church, you follow that pattern of, you know, peace be with you and also with you and blah, blah, blah. Like you follow this. Yeah. It's called it's a missalette. Thank you. <laughs> it's a script. <laughs> hey, you're being groomed <sighs> to, be, to be diddled by God. That's not cool, man. <laughs> okay. Where else are we at? Last on the list, sir. And now, now that you mentioned the building thing, I did, 
I didn't look into the building thing, but you mentioned a couple of times, and I guess I should have looked more into it. Cause okay. I didn't look at all, so I apologize. No, no that's fine. I don't this, care. Now that I've just beer Googled this little simple thing, I am now going to have to go down this rabbit hole. You're welcome, bro. I hate you for that. You're welcome. You. I'm wondering, was there, you know, were there other things happening there? What are their satanic rituals? I don't, yeah. I mean. Could be. Who knows? I mean, and that, I, which I think is dumb, but that's fine. So, okay, whatever. What are your thoughts on everything? On satanic rituals? <laughs> well, I know you love them. Uh, what are the, well, what are your thoughts on this building show, and the bro. things missing now? And when were the things taken off? Like, I, I see, don't there's know. so many things to go that. Yeah. But what are your thoughts about this then? What what rabbit hole and what of your friends and all your conversations? Because you and I really never had that conversation. Though. True. Um, I, I think it's terrifying that there were concrete altars and the statue, the two statues of the pedophilia God. It's horrifying. And was it like, I automatically jumped to like, was there fucking human sacrifice? Like, uh, yeah. are we going back to the Mayan times where they would kill 10,000 people to sacrifice their God on top of that Mayan pyramid and shit like that? Is that, that's that's possible. I don't know how probable that is. And why would you do that? Like you're if you're the person performing that ceremony or whatever ritual whatever, what's the point? Because it it gives you power. You think you think it gives you power? I don't understand the the thought process the 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 rationale behind doing stuff like that. Why do you drink the blood of your first kill? Because your dad told you to do it and your fucking granddad told you to do it. Right. Because it's ritual. Because it's the thing oh. about being spirit with the animal, right? Who knows how these fucking people work, man? This ritual stuff, killing, sacrifice, that could just be part. Not even that it's to the God. Like, they don't have to believe in this stuff. It's just for the ritual of it, to your point. Just the power and the whatever. I'm very confused by that. By the idea that that's... I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, because I don't give... I don't give Satan any credence. You know what yeah, I mean? You, there's no so, saying no God. Like, you know, I don't think you. Co well, correct. In my, in my world. In your world, no God and no Satan. Correct. Right. So I don't, when I joke about heavy metal and stuff like that, it's a joke because yeah. I don't give Satan any credit or credence or power or control. I have no fear of that. I think it's fucking dumb. But that's you my, have that's a, purely you have my a belief system based around. Correct. Him. That's purely my opinion that I just think it's fucking dumb. So, okay, you want to dance around and just don't hurt anybody else. That's oh, yeah. That's all I really care about. Live and let live, man. All right, man. What lastly, else? lastly, on the list, on the list. Miss Maxwell. She is currently in federal prison in New York on sex trafficking charges and some other shit. July 2021. Yeah. So is her just to be trial clear. date? Den okay, Jelaine Maxwell denied bail ahead of July 2021 trial. So, I, I guess my main question is, why did she do that? Why did she recruit other girls? Why did she recruit girls if she's supposedly Epstein's girlfriend? Why? Why? Did she get off on it? Did Was it a power thing for her? And there was there was one young lady who said that she had sex with both of them with with Maxwell and Epstein. What's the why did she do what she did? I, I guess I just that 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 dynamic I really struggle with because it's not normal. It's not. I mean, it could be true love, and then you just get sucked up into. The, I mean, you could. I've I've heard weird people do weird things with emotions. Or was she brainwashed by him? Could have been. Did she just? I don't know their history. Well, I right. honestly don't know. I honestly know nothing about their history. Question is this for me. When's the last time you heard any of this? Not, not looking for never. Right. So I, why the fuck is this not every day? Jelaine Maxwell is a fucking demon. If you know anything or any other children, like every day there should be cries out to any other people touched or harmed for, from this specific thing. Cause it seems like it was so large. In my opinion. Absolutely. I mean, you're talking a hundred plus. Yeah. No people. one talks about it. Yeah. Why? Because of who owns the mainstream media. Well, COVID and uh, look at the next shiny object to, to, to quote you, which I is completely accurate is now we have, Oh, 
Let's move along. Oh, we're not being distracted enough. Let's do this. But it's the shiny object they give us. Yeah, of course. They're giving us the shiny object. Uh, yeah, of course. Because the people who run the mainstream media, once again, are the people with the money who probably yeah. have connections to Epstein who had him killed in the first I really would, would not be surprised <laughs> if major media moguls were on that island too. I'm full of shit today. I know. It's I need fucking... to stop talking. Okay, good idea. It's been a great show. Mark's done. <laughs> <laughs> He's got sushi on his mind, bro. I do. I have total sushi on my mind, but I also $4 hope, rolls. I'm also $4 spicy donut roll. <laughs> bro V day at, oh, the Hana. Oh, it just I'm came up tentative. on your calendar? Yes. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm a calendar guy. And No, no, I love it. Thank you, sir. Go team Hana. Virgo. But it's not a Hana. It's going to be Sakara, Sakura, uh, Sakana, Sakura, I, whatever. Whichever one it is. They, they also have sushi, so we're good. They it's, both, yeah, they're right next to be each okay. other, basically, almost. Um, yeah, I hope that what I said made any sense no nah, a little like I, bit i feel like i stuck my foot in my mouth a lot today and i didn't just that once. was not the intention okay but it's delicious mm, i'm glad you washed it first All right. i also would like to know what does everybody else think do you did uh epstein kill himself or not did why aren't more victims coming out leave us a comment do you did what do you think is gonna happen to maxwell does she have dirt on people and is she is her life in danger because she knows probably 80% of what Epstein knew, right? Is there documentation for very influential, famous people? Is there blackmail on those people? What does everybody think? What are the precautions they're taking to protect her? Yeah, for example, is like, she in the suicide watch? Is she, is, are her guards asleep? Is her is camera it, off? Like, right. I, and she might be dead and we don't even know. Like that information may never could, have been released. Yeah, I just you know saw I mean? an article something about January her asking to push something back. So maybe who knows though, right? You don't but, know. It could all be a paperwork. Yeah, but also because of COVID, ugh, thing you know trials are being delayed because you can't have jury people sitting next to each other and blah, blah, blah whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. Well, this date this date was set last July a year. It was basically July 2020. Right. So this might get pushed back. I'm just saying this is the this is the date that's current in place but it was so far down the road how did when was epstein supposed to happen i didn't i don't see, know that's I mean, the question because 20, it's like 19 2020 i don't know i didn't know if it was a year late it was well he spend i mean a he year was in jail before he fucking he was arrested july 2019 so i don't know when right. the, i don't know when the trial was gonna right. be right i don't know either and i guess i should look that fucking nah up fuck it but the thing is he was dead in august well this is a year you're gonna give someone that much time to fucking find a way to kill this person <laughs> that's the way i'd look at it I don't have to find. And then when no one's them. because no one's looking, no one, nobody yeah. cares anymore. And again, shiny object and we're not paying attention. Yeah. And I've looked it up probably once a month to see if what's up with her trial, et cetera. Yeah, exactly. And what do you, what do you find? Same thing. She's still in New York at the, at the jail and the trial's pending. Yep. Anything else on Miss Maxwell? No. Does she have dirt on people? Well, she must. I mean, she's right there with him. And if she did come out, would would if if, if there was a if there was a sixty minutes interview with her in jail, would people believe her? If, if somebody said, if she said, "Oh yeah, Prince Andrew, he slept with that girl," well, then it's her word against his word, right? And who do you believe? This girl that's in jail, or I would believe. The two stories over his, because his is so fucking riddled with holes. Well, that's holes, maybe not a good example. And, her, and theirs seem pretty bulletproof. I mean, bulletproof, at least she knows she met him. There's a picture of them. Yeah. And I, they talk about the doctoring of the picture. I'm sorry. Come on, guys. I didn't, Can we I, fucking? I don't remember that part. It was on the interview. I apologize. Okay. Sorry. I conflated the two. Conflated. Um, in this case, though, like, I'm wondering if Jelaine was like, the second he died. Second, they fucking, she's reaching out to everyone, all the powers that be going, what do you, I'll give you all your stuff back. Just don't kill me? Yeah. Like, you, I would bet she would freak. I don't know. These seem like pretty calm, collected people and pretty, like, bulletproof. But when it comes down, when the, when the, when the fuzz is coming down on you. And the chips are on the line? Or whatever. When, like, I don't know. You're basically in your last, like, breath here. I'd probably be reaching out to everyone going, um, what did Jeff have on you? 
I'll find it. I'll get, I'll get it to you I, or, or whatever. Or what, you know, Hey, uh, I know his archive place, his vault. Right. Everyone's welcome to come. We'll have big fuck fest <laughs> and we'll burn the vault. That's fucked up. Or whatever. I don't, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I just met with each other, like the adults, but the adults. Okay. I'm glad that was Sorry. clarified. All the old people. <laughs> I'm having a rough day. Apparently you got sushi I on got your brain, sushi. man. Yeah. I, you know what it is? I think I got mercury on the brain oh, from the sushi nice. that I love. Yes. But um, that's all I have, dude. Okay. Well, this has been pretty cool. I thought I didn't know what we were going to do with this, but I didn't uh, know what to expect either. Yeah, it turned out I it hasn't it been nearly well. as horrible as I suspected. No, but uh, the, it's a tough subject. But it's a hard, it's a horrible act, and we've it's weird that we've touched on it now four or five times throughout. Just you know, yeah, Tyson, Catholic, yeah, with Tyson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Shoeberry, this right. Um, and it's going to come again. But once again, you and I, why are how, why? We're these champions for children, and we don't have children. It's like the weirdest fucking thing. We're creepers, bro. We're mid forty year olds who, who like support and encourage children. I no, I just like Lego, man. That's true. You, how's the Lego project going? I got five minutes left, dude. Really? Yep. So fine. Did you take a picture? No nope. picture. No. I got five. You minutes. literally have five minutes. Yeah. How many that pieces left? Yeah, ten pieces. Yeah, left? like eight. What's the total time? What's oh. the clock? What's the clock run so far? Do you, have, do you have a total or do you yes. have to add them No, no, again? I have a total. Stand by. Okay, I need, okay. Uh, the Millennium what Falcon, 7,500 pieces. 7,500 I'm pieces. currently at 38 hours, 45 minutes. Oh, that's shorter than the other one. No, the other one was 33. Yeah, but but the other one's way more pieces. So oh, like, way I think less pace, pieces. Right, that's what I mean. Your pace Yes, was my pace, pace was, was, did increase. Because they told you it was going to be longer than that. Right, but the pieces were much smaller. Right. I know, I'm just saying though. Your assembly, my dexterity, your assembly skill is improving. I am an advanced assembler. All right, can we eat? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Well, this has been um, Epstein on Valentine's Day. This is the That's weirdest fucking cool, time. Man. I don't. I feel bad about that. Yeah, and so. I feel bad for all the all the victims and uh, all the survivors. I I mean that that show is hard to watch sometimes, and I I I wish them all the best. I know there's that. You know how they have those weird poster like slogans like defund the police or something like that. It's like that whole believe the victim. I'm not a fan of the believe the victim thing or believe the accuser that believe the accuser phrase. However, listen to the accuser follow fucking up. Don't just oh, dismiss right. it. Don't drop. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I love it. I, Cause some people are like, believe the accuser. I'm like, well, I think that you should just vet once again, everything. Yeah. Who's lying? I guess. Right. Yeah. And that's all it is. Obviously this is a horrible situation. My heart goes out to yeah, any ch anyone that that was not of any age to consent who had things done to them in any way at any second of any part of humanity. I it breaks my fucking heart. I agree completely. That's all we have. Do we want to end on a good note? <laughs> it's always a good There's sushi two, time, bro. It's always two good notes. Two good notes. Uh, be excellent to each other and party on dudes. <laughs>